Holy Jesus. Oh, that is some stinking stuff. Stink. All right, banana souffle moisture cream. If it gets too small, I can't see it even with the glasses. Um, glow recipe. Oh, God, I can't do this. I'd end up eating it. It smells like banana pudding. Straight up smells like banana pudding. Want to look old even to yourself? Put on glasses or scraps. Ah, oh. oh, that's sad. Anyway, what is this stuff? Rose water setting spray, Maven Beauty. Damn, I really look old. Hello, peeps. How's it going? Anyway, I thought I'd come on here and just kind of check in a little. Um, yes, I'm still working on my book. And I was looking through some of the stuff before I started really thinking about what I was going to say. And I'm going... I can't read this stuff. Now, if the printing on these little bottles gets way tiny, I have to look over the top of the glasses to see what I'm see what I'm doing. But let me tell you, if you want to change your age appearance, including when you're looking at yourself, Go ahead and put a couple of, you know, put one of these glasses lassos on. I picked a couple up because when I'm wearing my mask, my glasses don't necessarily stay in place. And the, this at least keeps them from hitting the ground. Most of the time. Anyway, yes, I have lashes on makes it more difficult to do the glasses thing. Anyway, got my most recent boxy. And right after I got it, I canceled boxy. And I've picked up birch box because the basic for birch box is 15. And the stuff that I got in Boxy this time may be just absolutely lovely stuff, but like this Glow Recipe Moisturizer, it's called Banana Souffle Moisturize, Moisturize, Moisture Cream. Now, I opened this stuff up so I could put a little on my skin to see what I thought of. I have a really serious problem with this. I kid you not, it smells like really, really, really good banana pudding. And the scent doesn't go away really quickly. And I do mean not go away. Ew. It, li it literally smells so good, it makes me start to feel hungry. I don't need that. It's like moisturizer my backside. This stuff is dangerous. The other problem is it's very scented. If you are sensitive to scent, don't open it. One of the other things I got is this KAB 
lip oil. This one is in Honeydew. And yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty color. It really is, but damn. <laughs> you take the cap off, you stick it under your nose, and it is highly scented. Okay? Highly scented. And it's no, I've got other lipstick on right now. I'm not putting this stuff on. It's even as pretty as the color is in the package. It's just shiny, sticky stuff. You should just about be able to see the shine on it. It's just shiny, sticky stuff. And it's thick. The other problem is when I actually tested it on bare lips, oh my God, you can taste the perfume and it's not pleasant, but literally you can taste the perfume. Ew. Serious case of, ew. This has to be the stinkiest box I have gotten yet. Now, they put a Maven Beauty item in. Rose Water Setting Spray. If you have any doubt whatsoever whether or not there is rose scent in this bottle, let me be perfectly clear. It reeks. 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 Ick. Now, normally, I don't mind the scent of rose. It's one of my more favorite florals. As a matter of fact, I've got some stuff that's like rose and coconut from the Bolero line that I've been picking up. And I really like it. For one thing, it's a very light scent in the Bolero and it dissipates really fast. Now, I don't normally have a problem with that kind of scented product. I'm not like seriously scent sensitive, but when it stinks, as much as these do, especially that this is disgusting, it just, yeah, I can't deal. I cannot deal which is too bad because I'm out of one of the other setting sprays. I may use this for something that I don't actually, you know, like a brush spritz instead of putting it directly on my skin. I just, what were they thinking? This is nasty. Yeah, so I've got some rather intense eyelashes on today just because I felt like it felt like it. Anyway. But I figured, you know, just a little chat up and tell you about things like the book is going along. It may actually be slightly later than I originally predicted because I just hit a, and no, it's not a snag that's stopping me. It's a subplot line that's grabbed me by the throat. Yeah, okay. It's going to be a longer book, no matter how you look at it. Um, 
one of the things that I got out of the out of the boxy though, I'm kind of I'm kind of iffy about. It's the Venus Three. Now this is the first Lime Crime palette that I've ever laid hands to, but. You've seen a lot of my makeup collection. This looks like the usual, you know, the usual suspects for a lot of my makeup collection. The usual suspects. So, yeah, not really exciting. Not bummed. I mean, I haven't tried the Lime Crime and I know there are some people who are just all kinds of, of, of happy with it. So I'm going, all right, I get to try this. But I've also, I've been hitting the thrift store again. Got a new, yes, I collect teapots. I've got a new teapot that I'll put up at some point. I've been doing a lot of my thread and needle work. Just finished doing a beanie baby size teddy bear for one of the grandkids for the 10th birthday. I tried to get a picture and it was sent to me incorrectly by my son who took the picture. So I haven't been able to download it. If I manage to get it downloaded before I finish editing this, it should appear in here somewhere with the little with the little bear. I'm crossing my fingers. Um hopefully in the next week or so I'm going to be working with I've got a collection, a small collection and I'm talking about tiny little samples of pigments and I've got some fractionated coconut oil and I've got some 90% alcohol and I've got the little pans and you know a couple of magnetic um, palettes to put the little pans in and I'm going to play with the colors and see what I come up with and it's like no I'm not trying to do my own makeup line I just want to play it, it, it's fun and what else have I done well I find there's a lot of the stuff that I was able to order around the holidays and from my, you know, the budget that was allowed that I didn't spend for a couple of months so I could hit up a few larger things. Um, the, now, Angie at 4F Beauty did the Charlie Betty which is a new indie cosmetic line in Britain. I looked into it because the colors looked gorgeous and Angie raved about the formula. That one is going to take me a while to try to get a hold of because between the cost of the palette, the cost of the shipping from Britain to here, the exchange rate, which is not favorable, and a few other things. It's, it's like $28, well, 28 pound pallet. By the time it's all set up to come over here to the backside of the U.S. in Oregon, it's $70. And I'm going, dang. I'd love to lay hands to it, but 
One of the other things I've started doing so I can keep track of what I've got and what I've used recently is I picked up one of the randomizer spinner programs that I put on my computer and I'm putting all of my shadow palettes on it. I'm putting, you know, my foundations. I don't really have that many anymore. I don't have a huge collection. Um, but I want to use up what I've got. I want to get my money's worth out of them before I get anything else. Um, lipsticks, eyeliners. I was sitting here earlier trying to put the eyeliner on and I'm like pitching eye pens, most of which came by way of sample bags. So yeah, not a lot of them. But I'm pitching these eyeliners into the garbage just as fast as I can throw because they're dried out. And I'm going, oh. One of the pieces I've got coming in from order is I got the Midas Bitchin Liner Palette. Because I wanted some, you know, more colorful stuff. And I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on colorful stuff that's going to just go dry before I ever use it. And I don't use them that often. At least not some of the brighter colors. But I only got that one Midas palette. I thought about the Smoky Glow palette. It sold out. I thought about the Club Nebula palette. It's sold out. I even thought about the Trixie Mattel palette. It's sold out. Yeah, sold out. Lots and lots of sold out. In the meantime, though, I hit up a few things. Now, we know... C Color, um, the C Color brand has a lot of stuff that is duplicates or near copies of some high end stuff. They've got some stuff that, that's, you know, like their palette that's called Whimsical, which is real close to. and that kind of thing and they've got one set of um palettes called the unisex which has got a couple three as as luxaria says jemima spanner um and there's one that's got some of the Laura Lee stuff, and one that's kind of a kickoff on Manny, but an older bit from Manny. And I got a little crazy, and I went after him. So I got the unisex set, and then I picked up another couple of pieces that basically are dupes for old classics like Sultry and let's see what else did I get I can't remember which one this one was but this is the the C color glamour They've got some pretty nifty stuff, and it's a little less expensive than, say, Alter Ego. I can work with that. I can do less expensive than Alter Ego. Picked up a few more things from Profusion. Picked up a few more things, bits and pieces, you know, mini palettes and 
um, C color I picked up. The, the really gorgeous thing that is their first, one of their first palettes that they did for just because they wanted to, which is this one called Diamond. Beep! Lots and lots of shimmery stuff. Really pretty. Forgot to take the thing off. So now I'm killing you not just with the mirror, but with the shiny cover. Okay. And yeah, no, I haven't messed with that one yet. And let's see. This one is called Jungle Fever. And this one, I think some of you may be able to figure this one out. It's called Cabana. Because a lot of the people that I like to watch who are who do collaborations with other YouTubers, a lot of times they're looking for somebody who has a particular palette that they're look, wanting to work with. And they want to see who's got it. And I'm going, I'd really like to do some of those. But I'm not going to jump up and go get some of these expensive palettes just because I would like to do a collaboration. But I know there are some people who you know, really like the idea of taking the same palette and going, let's go play with it. Now, this one, this is Unisex 1 from C Color, and it is supposed to be Laura Lee's Cat's Pajamas. Kinda. This one, which is unisex two, is supposed to be Beauty Killer. Unisex three which is this one. I have to take that off again. Androgyny. Unisex four. Dominic Cosmetics Latte. Unisex five. Get the thing off. It was that one from Dom on the Dominic was seriously. Okay, now this one is another Dominique. This one is Lemonade. Let's 
So, yeah. I've got some quote-unquote dupes. And they will say on things like the site, it's like similar to or compare with. Now, I have issues with straight up dupes. Okay? The problem I'm having currently is that on YouTube, there is a advertisement for perfumes by a particular company and they show you a bottle of the perfume that's like two or three hundred dollars and then they show you the bottle of their perfume that supposedly has the same scent profile, same notes, all of that. And that it's only, you know, 30, 40 bucks compared. And I'm like, guys, could we not? But they are, and I've seen this for a long time, that you can get away with it with perfume. But go after somebody's pigment formulation and they will come hurt you. Like, this is the C, C color whimsical and they're comparing this one to Norvina then I picked up some W7s I've got on the rocks which is this. I forgot to write down on these what they are. Eh. You know, supposedly kind of looking like. And this one's called Whatever. They're calling it totally random. Now, most of these I have literally just had come rolling in. So, yeah, there's a bunch of them I have not used yet, which means there's a bunch of them I need to get on with and start using. I mean, I even picked up some stuff that just kind of didn't make any sense, but I did it anyway just because and it's like I picked up this at the Rite Aid it's the physician's formula one of their butter sets I keep hoping that at some point we're going to be allowed to travel again and I'm like this works this would be really good for travel and I kept telling myself that yeah, we will see how that goes. But, you know, I'm like going, I'm trying. I'm trying to meet people part way. Trying to see if I can get things together so that if somebody says, hey, want to do a collab? I'm using dot to dot. I have seen at least a small chance of having something at least comparable. Now, I haven't used all these yet. 
and I had done a pretty fair job of clearing out some stuff. That's when having grandkids comes in handy. Because the grand girls were thrilled. Because I was, you know, going, here, you want to use this palette? Have at. We'll see how that works out the next time. But I've got stuff that I can mostly work with if somebody wants to do, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm like, this could be interesting. It's like I've got this. This is another CC color. This is paperish. And it's supposed to be sultry. So, yeah, it's like there's all of this kerfuffle about makeup and you know, playing fast and loose with somebody's makeup palette designs and color formulation and, and going off about their, <coughs> you know, intellectual property. And yet on YouTube, we've got that perfume company. The next time you see somebody come up and start talking about perfume and prices, don't skip the ad. Pay attention. Because they talk about the specific overtones and midtones and undernotes from the other perfume and they're going on about how they have the you know same type of kind of scent profile going on and I'm like guys do we really need to go there apparently they think so I don't get it I don't know how they get away with playing copy me when if somebody does a duplicate or a, you know, inspired by from somebody else's makeup palette, that's that gets a complete storm going online. But this doesn't. And I'm like, it just, it's annoying. Anyway, I am pretty well finished yapping about this stuff. So stay out of trouble. Go get your vaccinate. Yes, I got my first vaccine. I've got about a week and a half left before the next one. My husband has gotten his vaccine. We are doing this. Um, stay out of trouble, or at least don't start trouble all on your own. Um, keep your head down. Wear your mask, wash your hands, keep your distance. Be good. Bye.